Quick and easy crumb topping. One package of oatmeal cookie mix, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one stick of butter, then Tennessee pecan whiskey by Old Smoky, and one pound of frozen peaches. The peaches and the whiskey are just for the filling for this dish. The crumb topping you can bake and put on top of anything you want. So I put a little bit of oil in my smoothie cast iron pan. Since I'm using frozen peaches, I want to have my burner up on high because as soon as those peaches hit that pan, it's gonna cool that pan temperature way, way down. I got about five tablespoons of butter in there. It's gonna help make the sauce very, very silky. I'm just gonna kind of simmer them. I don't wanna cook them too much because they're peaches. They're, I don't want, want them to be mush by the time everything is done. I added two cups of frozen blueberries just because I had them in my freezer and I absolutely love blueberries and peaches together. Got one cup of sugar. Once again, since I'm using frozen fruit and berries, they're not as sweet as fresh. So if you're using frozen, be sure to taste it just to see where you want your sweetness to be at. Kind of let it simmer just a few minutes. Then, Tennessee Pecan Whiskey by Old Smoky. I absolutely love the flavor in this alcohol. It is very vibrant and anything I've ever cooked with it, the flavor of the pecan and the whiskey really comes through. I'm just going to simmer it to let all the flavors and the sauce come together. Again, I don't wanna cook the fruit and the berries. They are going to finish cooking in the oven. I don't want everything to just be mush. Now for our crumb topping, I've got one package of cookie mix, one stick of butter, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. I literally just use my hand, it's my best tool in the kitchen, to combine all the ingredients together. When it is done, you will see, when you can grab one handful of it and it will stick together, kind of like wet sand, and then it will crumble down. That's where it gets its name from, it's crumbly. This is how you know your crumble is just perfect. And I want to point out that you can use any cookie mix you want. I have used Snickerdoodle before, and that turns out really good. So with my burner off, I'm just going to put my crumb topping on. I've got my oven preheating at 375. This is the temperature on the package of the cookie mix. I like to go by that just because that is the cookie mix directions. Now, even though we're not making cookies, I did not want to make this at 400 degrees or 450. It probably would have burnt the crumble and you don't want that. And here it is. Beautiful lusciousness. Crumb cobbler. This crumb topping, you can bake it on a sheet pan. It will only take a few minutes before it starts to brown. Put it on yogurt, put it on anything you want. Look how beautiful this is. Now I did let it rest a few minutes if you do want to make a cobbler or something similar to what I made. You could just use actual just applesauce, maybe add some spice in it, maybe add that old smoky pecan whiskey to it and call it a spiced applesauce crumb. This is one of my favorite go-to desserts. I absolutely love it and it is a wonderful dessert to wow your guests or your family. I hope that you enjoyed this week's Cooking Tip Tuesday. If you are a frugal mom like I tend to be, this is a nice, cheap dessert that you can achieve.